Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a big day today, Thursday of Team of the Year. The full team is in packs. We got the defenders on Wednesday. Uh, those guys are in packs, as it shows on my screen right now, for 17 more hours, which is basically going to be up when the uh, 6 p.m. content rolls around on Thursday, which is just after Weekend League Rewards. It's, it's a crazy day on FIFA. Weekend League Rewards, the full team of the year is in packs. We're probably going to have more SBCs coming out. Uh, and you know, the biggest thing is again, the full team of the year is going to be in packs. So people that have saved packs, people that have, you know, spammed upgrade SBCs like I'm doing and people that plan to spam lightning rounds, uh, are going to plan to start to do that today, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. That is the time for when the full team of the year is in packs and when the most of those packs in this game are open, which between the two days, Thursday and Friday, I think that's the day when most of the, the packs are opened on this game. Obviously, Thursday night, there's going to be a lot of people getting on, ripping out their save packs, rip, save their weekend league rewards for multiple weeks, even their weekend league rewards from this week. Like, I've got weekend league rewards today, gold three. I am very excited because that means that I get a, you get a 50k pack from gold three, I think. Gold three, 50,000 coin pack. And uh, team of the year cards are in packs. So that's the big, big thing today that the full team of the year is in packs. And how is that going to affect the market? And what we see happening today on this game of FIFA 20. So look at these prices right now. I can guarantee you right now that if you're watching this video um, after the lightning rounds today, basically in the next three to four hours after the lightning rounds drop on Thursday today, these guys will not even be within all of them, will not even be close uh, to what the price they're at right now. Robertson, the defenders came out today, to be honest, and I'll, the defenders are always a little bit cheaper, right? Um, and by the way, EA did a fantastic job, I think, with these cards. This Van Dyke with a 9-9 rated, um, they juiced the heck out of his card. Honestly, just a fantastic card, plus 11 physical, 8 defense, 17 dribble, 21 passing, 10 pace. I mean, honestly, this card is ridiculous, 3.9 million coins. I would not be surprised if this guy gets down towards the lower to mid 3 million coin range, but this is the best center back on FIFA Ultimate Team, and there's going to be so many people vying for this card, vying for Trent, the best right back, Robertson, even Delict, man. And I'm going to talk about Delict and even Allison and some of these other Team of the Year cards and talk about how their prices are going to affect the rest of the market today and tomorrow and Friday. I want to talk about that a little bit, but uh, you, you guys are going to see these cards drop a really decent amount of price because... Uh, this is something that we see when the full team of the year comes out in packs every year, right? Now, obviously, these cards have been in packs, or in packs, each you know section, the attackers, the midfielders, and the defense has each been in packs for one day and one day only, and they've kind of maintained and held this price. Messi's dropped back down a little bit, Mbappe is still high, Mane has dropped back down, uh, Conte is kind of floating around the same range, but these guys are going to start trending downwards because people know that all these packs are going to be opened today and Friday that is gonna make their prices drop on this market. And you're like, yo, these cards are so rare to pack, how is it possible that their prices are gonna drop? It just happens due to the sheer amount of freaking packs that are opened on this game um, during this promotion. That's literally, uh, that's literally what does it. Just the sheer amount of packs in this game. And Bappe has one page of supply right now, crazy. Only one page of supply at 3.9 mil. For this card right here and it makes sense because he is probably i mean i think this might be the best center back in the game but it might also be and you can you can kind of come at me with this in the comments but this might be the best center back of all time in fifa i mean i've only been playing since fifa 15 but this is probably one of up there as one of the best center backs of all time in fifa ultimate team so i think there's a lot of people that are going to pay big bucks for this card uh virgil van dyke the rest of the team of the year, obviously, is cards that people want, too. So you're going to see a lot of these cards rise up, I think, a little bit. Not a ton. I do think you're going to see some, some of these cards rise up out of packs into the end of the weekend a little bit. Uh, but the biggest thing is they're going to drop a bunch today and tomorrow. So if you have any of these in your team, I would recommend getting them out, even if you're taking a little bit of a loss. Uh, maybe like you got a Mane, around 2.8 million coins. I would highly encourage you to take the coins on that card and... Um, and, and take the coins and just and leave it and leave it be there because a lot of people are going to be packing these cards again today. Uh, it, it just with the sheer amount of packs that are opened, uh, that's going to be what's going to be happening today. A lot of these cards are going to be packs, and we're going to be if you want to buy one of these cards in the near future, if you're looking to buy a team of the year, your buy time for some of these is coming 
very, very soon, I think. Because I think you want to buy them when they're in packs. I don't really know if there's going to be panic selling on these cards this year like there was last year for future stars. We know that it's coming. You might see some people sell beforehand, but that's just kind of dumb, right? With some of the boost that these cards have this year, uh, it's just crazy that people would want to panic sell for that promotion, especially since they know that it could be coming. Uh, and we don't even know if it is coming. But since we have a heads up this year, unlike last year when we were blindsided, um, then I don't think we're going to see too much of a dip heading into future stars, but that's just my my opinion. But we don't need to talk about that yet because we got plenty of time before that promo is coming. I want to look at this week's team of the week as well, which is it's a decent team of the week. And there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about with investing in this team of the week, with the upgrade packs that we got today, and stuff that's going to make this team, this team of the week, just have tons and tons of supply on this game that you're probably going to want to stay away from. But this team leak is going to cause some market movements because of that supply that it's going to have on this game as well. Varane, uh, Gabriel Jesus, Pepe, Gomez, and Immobile are probably the headliners. Other than that, it's, it's actually a pretty... It's not that great of a team of the week, to be completely honest with you. It's a pretty bad team of the week. It's just it's just average. There's a lot more Prem players in here than I would have expected. Uh, we did not get Ronaldo, so a lot of people are thinking that that means Cristiano Ronaldo is going to win the 12th... Um, the 12th man award basically for team of the year and get himself a team of the year card. Some people have asked me, what's a team of the year Ronaldo going to cost uh, if he is put onto this game? I would expect that a team of the year Ronaldo would cost somewhere around the realm of like four to five mil. I think, I mean, that's a pretty big gap. Four to five mil, it's a million coins of a range, but seeing a Cristiano Ronaldo team of the year card under that price would be ridiculous. I know Ronaldo's cards are a lot cheaper this year because he's just not as OP, not as meta as he has been in other FIFAs. Uh, but he's still, he's Cristiano Ronaldo. And that that name, and he's still a really good card, um, will just make a lot of people want to use his card in game. So I do think somewhere around the four to five mil range, maybe closer to five than four, but maybe like four and a half is where I would see the Cristiano Ronaldo team of the year card if he does get in. So that's something that we could see later this week. Now today we did not get an SBC. Uh, like a player SBC, excuse me. We did not get a player SBC, which I thought was a little bit interesting, uh, but they kind of front-loaded the first day, right? Where they had the flashback Iniesta and the flashback um, Neuer. Then we got flashback Davo Luiz day two, and then day three today, or uh, Wednesday, we didn't get anything except for the upgrades. And another very interesting thing that the EA did today was they, instead of they changed this tab on the top here for the League SBC. They named it Players, which we still really don't know why they did that. I guess they thought maybe people would get confused with having these League upgrades and people thought that they would have to go into the League tab. I don't know. But I also don't know why they didn't keep the Team of the Year tab because it would be nice to have these cards under that Team of the Year tab um, or these SBCs under that tab. But uh, we did get the, all these upgrade SBCs today for all the Leagues, the Major Leagues. Bundesliga, La Liga, Ligue 1, Serie A, and Prem. If you're doing Bundesliga upgrade SBCs, I don't really understand what you're doing because there's like nobody from the Bundesliga in Team of the Week and there's nobody from Bundesliga in Team of the Year. So not sure why you do that one, but La Liga, Ligue 1, and Prem, with Prem being the most popular, uh, I do think are going to be SBCs that you guys want to go, go out and do. I'm going to be doing a ton of these. Uh, I've got a bunch of them built up already. I had over 1,100 cards in my unassigned, all rare golds from the Prem. I was anticipating this SBC requiring Premier League golds. Uh, but honestly, I, I mean, there was a lot of people that were very happy today on Twitter. I was one of those people because upgrade SBCs during Team of the Year promo, uh, you know, it's a smart move from EA. They get to suck a lot of coins from all the packs that are being opened, clear clubs, and it helps them make money because people drain their clubs and they open more FIFA points to get more cards in their club and to have coins, right? Um, but for us as the hardcore users of this game and the grinders that just want to try to get a chance at packing a team of the year, for us that are, you know, have a decent amount of coins that we can put towards these SBCs, this was absolutely perfect. This, the way they put these challenges, they gave us the packs from last year. And I actually tweeted out today because I tweeted this out earlier this week, um, I tweeted out earlier this week that I said, I would like to formally request the league upgrade SBCs for the top five leagues during team of the year. And basically what I said was, I'm one of the same ones as last year. And what do they do? They gave us the same ones as last year. So we asked Nicely Boys and we got the SBCs. I was very, very happy. 
um, that we got these today. And the, the basically, this is like a 9.5 out of 10 SBC. The only issue is at 45 chemistry, hey, can we make that 35 or 30? That'd be the only thing that would make it better. But I'll, I'll do an extra little bit of chemistry just for how good these SBCs are. So that was awesome from EA today. If you're interested in those SBCs, I'm sure that you're happy as well. Um, you're going to see me doing a bunch of these on YouTube, uh, on the, the live streams. We're going to be opening a lot of these packs this weekend. I'm going to be honest, I might not even play weekend league because this is going to be way more fun than trying to play weekend league uh, this weekend. I'm going to be doing upgrade packs and probably not playing weekend league. I'm going to be totally honest with you on that one. So, um, you know, if you're somebody who's not really interested in these packs as well, just do a couple of them. You know, the chances of you packing a team of the year is very slim. But well, there's a lot of Premier League things that are decent value in here. And that's the other thing I want to talk about is these packs right here. If you're somebody who likes to, what they used to call last year, Icon Craft, these SBCs for what you have to turn in and what you have be able to get out of them are fantastic for Icon Crafting, which is now, since we don't have any Icon SBCs, you can craft Player of the Month, craft these flashbacks. And I think that is what EA knew they were doing when they made this flashback Davo Louise SBC available for 20 days on his release yesterday. So this SBC is out for 19 days. So many people have done it already, but if you're wanting to do it, again, I said this earlier, please wait because you're going to have a time to do that, which is now where you can do some of those upgrade SBCs, maybe pack yourself some 86, 87 rated players, some SBC fodder, you know, maybe a Yoris, maybe a Fernandinho, stuff like that. And that would help you do some of these SBCs or cheaper. I myself, I'm probably going to be putting around 1.5 to 2 million coins into these upgrade packs. I'm probably going to do Suarez. I would like to do Dive of the Wiz, but I'm honestly going to wait and see what comes out a little bit later, right? I might do, um, I might kind of work my way towards a, uh, an icon upgrade. That's another SBC you could, uh, you could craft the base icon upgrade. I might actually start working my way towards one of those, but Premier League Player of the Month KDB could be coming later this week as well as um, a couple other player SBCs, like maybe a Marcelo, maybe a flashback Ibrahimovic. So some of those SBCs could be coming later this week. So if you're looking to craft some of those SBCs with upgrade packs and using what you get from those to make SBCs cheaper, then that could be something uh, that you really look forward to in the next couple of days as well. So that was the content for today. The upgrade SBCs, I think, kept a lot of people happy on this game. Uh, again, the defenders on the market are, they're interestingly cheap, especially this guy right here, because, uh, I know I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but GG's again to EA, um, for the stat boost and for everything that they have done with the team of the year players in this promo, especially the defenders. This, the boost that they gave this Delic card was honestly fantastic. 91 sprint speed. They gave him over that 85 pace, 80, 77 acceleration. You're probably going to need to put a chem style in there to boost that up. Uh, but 96 defense, 96 physical, fantastic looking card. Uh, and this this card right here, I think this Delict card is going to hurt a decent amount of icons on the game. And I wanted to show you this as a possible market movement from last year as well. I want to look at a couple icon cards last year because what happens is today and tomorrow, as I mentioned, we're going to switch back into like market mode again and talk about market stuff. Um... Last year, when all these team of the years came back into packs and you had people opening their saved packs and stuff like that on Thursday and Friday, you saw some of these icons, icon center backs, especially because a lot of the center backs got cheap, right? Ramos was around like 1.5 or 1.6, maybe even 1.7, somewhere in there. And Veron was like 1.1 or 1.2 mil for team of the year center backs with statistics that are significantly better than some of these prime icons that were in that range. So this prime Cannavaro last year, look at his price. Right before team of the year, he was 1.1. Basically, after foot miss, uh, 1.1 million. During uh, foot miss, in the team of the year, he gets dropped a little bit. People see the cards, and then boom. What happens to his card when the defenders come out? He goes from 1 million coins, and then on Thursday and Friday, it shows 899 and 908K. I can tell you for a fact, I remember watching this card last year. I remember that Nick was trying to buy this card last year, and it was like 800 and 50k or lower it was like somewhere in the 850s or lower for a few hours on thursday and friday it was that thursday so if you're looking for any of like the center backs that are you know uh prime center backs from this year's game uh, like maybe a, a desai or a blanc or maybe a canavaro those guys i think are going to get panic sold a lot today 
a, a lot of those a lot of those guys and especially some of the upper tier prime icons as well i think you're going to see cards like ronaldinho um possibly hullet possibly Vieira, take a hit in price today, even the middle versions of some of those cards, because people are going to realize how cheap these team of the years are getting. Uh, so we looked at Cannavaro's graph, we saw him drop off. It could just be a one-off uh, difference, right? No, it's not a one-off thing. Look at Blanc. Blanc was 1-5 at the end of December, gets panic sold into team of the year. From Wednesday to Thursday, the man goes from 1.3 to one under 1 1.2 mil, probably seeing a lowest in there, like 1.15 or maybe even closer to 1.1. Um, and then boom, look what happens after, after the weekend, basically he goes from 1.1, 1.2 million coins on Thursday to next Tuesday being back almost to 1.4 million coins. So again, it, it's kind of like black Friday. And that's what I've been talking about this whole time with the inflation of the market. It has a black Friday esque feel to it is in that you're going to see so many of these icons and so many of the meta special cards rising after team of the year, just because of the, of the you know, the issue is. People have a lot more coins on this game, and yeah, they might not be able to go out and buy a Team of the Year card, or they don't want to go buy a Team of the Year card, but they can go back out and buy these icons. You know, we have guys in, in swaps and stuff like that. Uh, uh, even though the swaps are kind of like dead right now with <laughs> how it kind of looks, um, it, which is interesting, but it is what it is. And uh, yeah, so basically that's what I wanted to talk about um, in today's video, was just looking at these icons, looking at the price fluctuations and movements. Again, we you probably have some, you know, more coins that you if you're if you're not like broke from doing upgrade packs like me watch the market move today because you're gonna see some icons get panic sold again let's look at the index icon graph for a minute here we'll look at the daily graph first on the daily graph this graph hit a low of like 53 points it doesn't show it here on the daily but this graph hit a low of 53 points on monday and it's been rising up ever since today there was not really a lot of panic at all for the defenders some of them went down earlier in the morning but there wasn't that much of a rise later as well. The defenders are going to have the highest pack weight and they're going to be the lowest price. So they're going to be the easier ones, you know, for people to put in their teams and for people to um, try out, I guess. And that's another re reason why you see some of those prime um, icon center backs take a hit in price because, you know, you have to shell out 3 million coins for a team of the year money card right now, but you only have to shell out 1.1 mil if you want to try one of the best center backs in the game, team of the year delict. So there's something to that as well, I think. Uh, but I do think you're going to see this icon uh, graph and the overall icon market take a dip uh, today on Thursday. Again, just because of all the packs that are opened. And I saw, I heard a few people making pretty good points today about some of the baby icons in this game, especially if they're very valuable and they're very uh, just desired by people in this game. These cards are out of pack, so they have no more supply, right? And some of them have gotten a little bit more rare on the market than we maybe would have guessed before, right? So this Carlos Alberto was like 690 last night, but he's out of packs and a ton of people like to use that card. He's not super rare, but there are some other ones in this game and I don't really have specific examples, but you're gonna find them if you watch the cards uh, a ton, if you are familiar with their their supply and with their prices, these are baby icons, right? They've had an SBC out for people to sell the tradable version to go get the untradable version. And yet some of them are still getting kind of rare on the market. It depends kind of on a card by card basis um, a little bit. Maybe what's, what's baby Blanc at? 85 Blanc, how is he? What's his supply like? This is a very used card in this game, baby Blanc. He's had a decent amount of supply before, okay. He's got like two pages, which I've seen him before. I've seen one person on this game own a, a, a page full of blocks before. So, you know, some of the supply for these cards is down a decent amount. Uh, and this is a card that I could possibly see rising after the week. Um, just because again of the rarity and stuff like that. So watch the baby icons, especially if they're really meta, really usable for a little bit of a rise. Uh, keep your eyes on those. But again, other special cards on this game. If we go take a quick scroll through some of the team of the weeks. If it's in the lower range, like I've been talking about for Thursday flips, which some of you guys might have right now, if it's in the lower range of that price threshold, you know, like this Firmino card for this Nabry, Nabry's already up a little bit, Werner's already risen up this week, um, Neymar is up, uh, you might see some of those lower cards though, um, maintain rising prices through the end of the week because somebody who's buying that Firmino is not somebody that's going to be buying a team of the year most likely. Just because if they're paying 100 whatever k for Firmino, they're probably not going to be able to pay over a million coins for a lot of those other cards in this team. So again, I think you'll see more of a rise in the lower tier end of the market quicker today. And then in the upper tier and the icon 
tier of cards, I do think you will see some panic selling and some undercutting. Uh, and if you're looking to buy one of those cards for your teams, I do think that is going to be a great shout and a great opportunity for you to pick up some of those cards there. Last thing I want to talk about, sorry, I keep switching back and forth between football and, and, and the game and stuff, but tomorrow, if you have not done a club stock, and we're going to be talking about club stocks here very, very soon. If you haven't club stocked yet, and if you have the coins and you want to do it, I would say that now is a decent time to do a club stock. You could maybe even do it before 6 p.m. UK tomorrow. There's gonna to be a lot of packs opened, and I think you might be able to pick up some people who open their packs before 6 p.m. UK when the full team of the year should be in packs. They might open their rewards early for, for whatever reason. Some people just open their rewards early every week. Maybe try to get on some of the bids for the 86s, the 85s, 84s. Do a club stock, put one of each in your club, um, because all it takes is one big SBC card. I know there's going to be lightning rounds. I know there's going to be a lot of stuff in packs and a lot of packs available, saved up packs, especially um, coming out of the game. But I do think these cards, all it takes is one huge Pogba SBC, um, you know, to require like an 87, an 88, and an 89 rated squad for like a super juiced Pogba or maybe an 85, 86, 87 squad for a super juiced like Marcelo or something. I mean, those might be a little bit inflated prices for those SBCs, but um, you know, all it takes is one SBC that is quote unquote good value. And all these guys could, uh, you know, take a hit up in price, even with all that pack supply. If that SBC is good enough and so many people want to go do it, you will see some of these prices rise. And especially we're going to talk about doing a club stock and getting some of these higher rated in your club as we head out of the team of the year promo. And as we head into next week because there's going to be SBCs that will still be in the store that wouldn't have expired yet because they're not expiring with team of the year. They're expiring after, which you could see some rise in the SBC fodder after team of the year. So that's kind of an after team of the year investment that we're going to be looking at in the next few days. But let everything on the market get panic sold. Uh, in terms of the icons, you're going to see the biggest dip there. Let the rest of the market rise. Last year, Thursday and Friday for like out of packs informs, and for some of that stuff, was it was phenomenal. I remember buying a bunch of Road to the Finals because I knew they were going to get bought up for some people's teams. I bought Alexandro's Inform last year. That was a huge moneymaker for me, his first Inform, I think. Uh, and obviously, it's, Sandro's card is up today because of the, the Delict card because that's one of the ways you can lick, uh, link him. But... That was just an example. A lot of those special cards, I do think you will see them rise up uh, in price today pretty nicely. And uh, the, the only one thing I want to talk about the icons is the panic. Again, I want to revisit this just shortly. The panic on some of the guys like a Desai or a Blanc or, or a meta used card in this game, I think the panic is going to be shorter and it's going to be less. You're not going to see a huge drop like you did last year, like a 200 or 300K drop on a lot of these cards. A lot of them have dropped already because people were prepared for this. People knew it was coming and um, they were just kind of ready. And the market was already so low on a lot of these cards that can it really go that much lower? So if you see this Desai around a million coins flat, even like 1 mil 50K, I would say is not a bad price for this. Probably somewhere around 1 mil though. Uh, on the, the lighting rounds today or tomorrow, that would be a fantastic price. Same for Blanc. Uh, Blanc under a million coins for his prime center back card would be fantastic. If you're looking for either of these cards for your team, uh, definitely you could you could look for some of those. I do think the center backs and the outside backs, maybe like a 90 Carlos Alberto too, might take the most of a hit. He's probably already pretty low, like 700K. Yeah, so he's just around 700,000 coins, but this might be a card that you see take a hit a little bit tomorrow as well if that Trent Alexander Arnold card takes a dip because I think Trent is like the team of the year right back that you want to use for your team, right? So there's still going to be people that want to use this Carlos Alberto, but Trent's at 1.5. If Trent drops down to a mil, especially for the prime Carlos Alberto, maybe you see this card uh, drop a decent amount tomorrow because this card has been pretty, this card has kind of stood the test of time with, it hasn't really dropped that much. And I do think the extra supply of this card being in packs tomorrow or today and Alexander Arnold dropping in price uh, to maybe around like 1.1 or 1.2 million coins, maybe even a mil, you could see a card like this drop a decent amount as well. Again, the thing that I can't stress enough to you guys today is just the sheer amount of packs that are going to be open, upgrade packs, saved packs. Some people have like 500 packs saved for team of the year. It's going to take them like all day or even two days to rip some of these packs that they have saved up. So it's going to be crazy. If you have 
pack pulls, save packs that you're opening today. Tweet me if you get big things, okay? The pack weight's going to be atrocious. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be atrocious, but that's just the way of team of the season, and that's how it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.